Hi, my name is Sadie. My name is Trevor. I'm Andrew. And I'm Magnus. And we're going to be talking about Cube by Larry Bell. All right, first, just some little information on the artist Larry Bell. Um, he was born in 1939, Chicago, Illinois. And um, he went to the Shoinar Art Institute where he met um, a lot of like these abstract expressionist artists like himself. And they went to the beach often to create art there. And in the 60s, he started um, specializing in these cubes. And that's where he kind of used um, things like light and space to really interact with his art to, to, I guess, make his art distinct from other artists. And yeah, I think Sadie's going to talk more about this particular piece. Yeah, thank you for the introduction. Um, so this piece is titled Cube, um, which is interesting because Larry left a lot of his um, works untitled. And as you can see, the title is both very fitting and simplistic. Um, it's currently owned by the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, but was generously lent it to the Addison um, for the Light, Space, and Service exhibit. Um, this piece was sculpted in 1966, and so as Andrew mentioned, um, he began sculpting cubes in the 1960s. Um, so this is definitely one of his earlier works, but as you can see, he has clearly mastered his techniques as um, is very refined. And the measurements of this particular cube are 12.8 inches by 12.8 inches by 12.8 inches. Um, and Larry's cubes range from 2 inches to 40 inches, so this is sort of um, one of his more mid-sized cubes. And what's really fascinating about this art is that it's sort of reflective, like a mirror. So if you go up really close, you can see yourself um, looking back. But if you stand far away, it looks completely transparent, so you can see everything that's on the other side. And this is created by a phenomenon called vacuum-coated glass, um, which Magnus is going to talk about. Yeah, so vacuum-coated glass is a kind of glass that's made when uh, a very specific machine puts a thin layer of metal on top of the glass. And what happens there is in the thin layer of metal, the light acts a little bit differently than it would in just the normal glass. So it might get more reflection off of some angles and then it might refract differently as it goes in and then through the box. And then as that light, um, as it hits the, so that really thin film of metal, um, part of that light is just going to bounce right off, which is why you can see your, like, see your reflection through the glass. But part of that light is going to go through the film, reflect off of the glass, go back through, up through the film, and then out into the air again, which is why that reflection, it can look a little distorted in some spots, and that's also kind of where that rainbow coloring comes from. It's because the light waves will kind of spread out as they travel through that film. And you'll see the, um, instead of just being kind of a densely packed white light, it'll spread throughout the, um, spread throughout the spectrum. Um, and that's kind of um, how the light works. Yeah. And so, um, as Trevor mentioned, when you stand at certain angles, um, it's not only transparent and reflective, but there's also sort of a rainbow um, touch to it. And so that's because the film and the glass are able to create a prism-like effect, um, which sort of demonstrates how Larry Bell was able to use his knowledge of art um, as he attended Schoenart Art Institute and studied there. But he was also able to combine physics concepts, such as reflection um, and prisms, to sort of um, weave that into his artwork, which is really fascinating.